Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a question that many developers encounter. Is it safe to use const charse literal as a std map key? Our viewer has a scenario involving classes that return their names, and they're curious about the implications of using string literals as keys in a map. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the use of const char literals as keys in a std map. In C++, string literals are stored in a read-only section of memory. In your code, you have a map that uses const char as keys. This can lead to issues because different instances of string literals may not point to the same memory address. To ensure that your map works correctly across different platforms, consider using stetstring instead of const char. This way, you avoid pointer comparison issues. Here's how you can modify your code. Replace const char row with st string in your map declaration and when inserting values. In summary, while using const char literals may work in some cases, it's safer and more portable to use stet string as your map key. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, it's safe to use const char literals as keys in a std map. However, using a string literal like data foo may or may not find your object, depending on the implementation. On the other hand, using a char array like char str equals foo and then data str is guaranteed not to find your object. To make both cases work, you can use a custom map comparator based on stated star cm. Just remember, storing a pointer to a local buffer can lead to issues, but this doesn't apply to string literals. Alternatively, using stestring as a key avoids these pitfalls altogether. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.